Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, this week's Garage Ed is all about the cam sensor. And boy, let me tell you, the cam sensor has changed engine performance forever. More about that a little bit later. Let's actually look at the cam sensor. What is it, what does it do? Well, here it is. It's actually looking at the position of the cam. Why do we want to know the position of the cam? Well, we can tell exactly where it's firing, when it's firing, and what valves open at what time. That's pretty cool. And I could fire it up for you. Down here, you have the crank position sensor and up here is the cam position sensor. You have a mechanical link with the timing chain that's going to run it. So when I fire it up, my crankshaft's down there. He's reading what's going on with the crank where it's at, but more importantly, my cam sensor knows what cylinder's where and what valve is where by all these little indentations and teeth. It can be a Hall effect or it could be a magnetic sensor. We'll talk about that next week with crank position sensors. Now, what makes it such a game changer? Well, we can do misfire detection. That's pretty cool. My crankshaft is spinning around down here, and every time I get a pulse, boom, a fire pulse, you get a little bit of a pickup there as it goes. Now, if it's picking up, picking up, and not not picking up for a while, well, that's a slowdown in the crank. So what does the computer do? Looks up at the cam, says, hey, where are we? What cylinder? What's going on? Well, there's your PO301s, 302s, 303s, exactly what's going on. Then it uses sequential fuel injection. We couldn't do that before either. We had to do multi-port injection. Now if I know what cylinder needs the fire and the fuel, well, I can deliver it directly. That's the job of a cam sensor. And even better yet, variable valve timing, man, VVT. Here on our engine, you can see it right here. This is pretty cool. I can take the cam. I know the position of the cams. I can advance them and I can retard them and I could look and see what's going on. And you can see it right here. I actually have the cam position sensor right here. If I pull this off, this is pretty cool. I'll set this over here. And then right here, the cam position sensor is looking down at these marks. So he knows exactly where this camshaft is. I could look at a V8. I could look at a four cylinder. I can look at two or four of them, but I know exactly where the cam position is. But you know what? It's not going to use all this cool technology if the cam sensor is not working. That's why Brian's checking one out. Okay, with everything out of the way here, I'm removing one of the two camshaft position sensors. Essentially, what we're going to do is check the guts inside of it, the windings, the wiring, look for resistance, look for loss of signal and voltage inside the thing, which would mean something's broken inside and it's got to be replaced. Be careful with the harness. These crack. This is tough conditions up here. Just work the sensor up out gently. And I'll give you a good look inside here. There's three posts, three pins. You can see on the graphic here, we're going to test it three different ways. You're going to go pin one to pin two. Look for infinity or zero. You're going to go from pin one to pin three. Then you're going to do pin two to pin three. And that ultimately will tell you the voltage you're sending inbound. Is it getting lost or is it coming back through? And that tells you the health of this really important sensor. What's it do? Well, you saw how it works. This is the great enabler. The, the computer needs to know where the valves are in relationship to the camshaft to know when to send spark and when to send that fuel charge. And these little guys have a big job in that equation. Well, for more tech tips, John and Tom got you covered. Now, Tom, whether it's a cam position or a crank position sensor, you know that computer kicks a code. It'll say cam or crank. That doesn't mean the component's bad, does it? No, you got to think about the problems that could affect any old car. The plumbing between the sensors and the computers, the wiring. At rockauto.com, we have the connectors that all these things plug into under electrical connector, your crankshaft position sensor. That's something to check before you start replacing the part is go to that connector, it has a varmint chute on it, has it corroded, started to separate away. It, it might be a, a $2 connector versus a $100 uh, component that needs to be replaced. Now, Tom, this is really neat about rockauto.com. You have the view. This is neat for me because I'm looking actually the ping configuration. This is going to be just like factory. I look in there, I got the weather pack. Do you have some side views and different views I can look at? Sure, you can blow it up. You can see it from different angles. Make sure it matches your connector and, and you, can, you can see what is likely to fail if there's a little o-ring or something that that is letting corrosion letting water get in and that corrodes the connectors or expands things or something yeah there's a big term out there cpa and it's not a public accountant it's uh, certified position assurance make sure that thing's connected well check them out on the web 